Lesson 3 covers the MTL and CTRC. First, we're going to start off with the MTL, which stands for Multiple Transaction Log. In this section, we're going to go over when to start, how frequently do we track, how to fill out an MTL. Start an MTL when the threshold level starts above $3,000. So $3,000 and one penny initiates an MTL. Even though MTLs are not mandatory under Title 31 regulations, MTLs are commonly used to track multiple transactions. MTL log entries must be completed at the time of the transaction. MTLs must be maintained by all monitoring areas. Now, asking for ID. What if the patron says, no. If no, a W-9 request for taxpayer ID or a casino approved substitute form must be filled out. The patron must then... The first step is to see if the patron's ID is on file. If so, only rely on the information that has been re-verified periodically. If not, record the best physical description possible. In this section, we're going to learn when to initiate a CTRC. We're also going to keep in mind that ID is now mandatory. The types of acceptable ID, the player or multiple transactions. Stop. You must then suspend all further transactions with the patron until all of the required information to complete. So what are the types of acceptable IDs? A driver's license, passport, alien registration, military ID, any guest who refuses at this point will cause the transaction to be terminated. The patron should be requested to leave the property. Note: Ask a student submitted to the IRS at the end of each gaming day by your casino's compliance representative. Cash-in transactions include purchases of casino chips, tokens, and other gaming instruments, deposits including front money and or safekeeping money. Cash-out transactions include redemption of casino chips, tokens, tickets, and other gaming instruments, withdrawals of deposit, front money, or safekeeping money. Here is what a CTRC form looks like, and now we're going to learn how to fill it out. First, we have to remember that it is only to be completed for cash transactions above $10,000. Remember item 30 of part 2 that this box does not need to be checked when initial transaction exceeds $10,000. If more than one person is involved in the transaction, they must be reported in Part 1. Married customers or known customers sharing complete this form for transactions aggregated over $10,000 occurring in non-gaming areas, such as casino hotels, food and beverage, and retail outlets. Suspicious transactions are also reported on this form for the above non-gaming areas. And it's 25 calendar days when filing through FinCEN's BSA Direct e-filing system, in which a deadline for submission is extended. We've now come to the end of Lesson 3. Take the quiz now. Once finished, continue on with Lesson 4. Relax and good luck.